how to integrate custom forms into Shopify. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, let's see how we can do this. The very first thing to do, guys, is to go into your Shopify account. If you don't have a Shopify account, I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description so we can get started totally for free. So the very first thing you need to do uh, when you have your account, when you have your Shopify already been created, is to focus into creating your actual store, right? So if you go into the home section, which is actually on the upper side, you're gonna be seeing that we have this setup guide. And here, what I want to do is to fill all the tasks that need to be completed. So I'm gonna go into set up your store. And as you can see, we have the ad brand assets, we have the customized theme, we have the ad pages to your store, organized store, and much more. I can strongly suggest to you that first of all, you want to locate the ad brand assets, choose manage branding, and once you are in here, you want to impose your own logo, your own square logo, your own colors of your actual branding, the cover images, and all that information you want to fill with that. So once you have successfully filled that, it doesn't matter what kind of theme that you choose, it's gonna be imported all your information into that theme, so you don't have to practically do anything at all. So hit into saved, and then you're actually good to get started. So what you want to do now is to customize your theme as well as your pages, organize your store navigation and create a professional logo just in case you don't have anyone. You just create that here totally for free. So now what we wanted to do is to focus into the page that we want to add as a custom form. So if you focused into online store, let's focus into pages. Here when it says pages, what I wanted to do is to add a new custom page as a custom forms. So let's say for example that I want to make some contact us or I want people to, if they want to, let's say apply to send an email, to send a this line of a product, I want to create a custom form. So for that, what I wanted to do is to create a new page. So we're gonna go for add page here. And then here's the title, here's the content. So I'm gonna go for title. I'm gonna change that for saying, uh, send your design. So now, we have now added our pages. So what I want to do is to customize this page. But first of all, I'm gonna go into online store and once we are in here, I want to locate my store here, my actual page. So since we cannot see the page that we have just created, we want to customize our navigation tool. So locate your navigation here. And here into navigation, what I want to do is to look out for my main menu, which is actually this one. And what I want to do now is to just add the one that I wanted to find into my actual store. So I'm gonna just delete this one because I think I don't need it. I'm going to go for add a menu item and I'm going to go for name and I'm going to look out for the actual page that I have just created. I'm going to go for link. I'm going to go for send your design and this is going to be the name of my actual menu item. And here I'm going to go for add and there we go. After that, what I just need to do is to hit into save menu. So now what I want to do is to go into my online store and customize the custom page that we have just added. So I'm going to go for customize down in here. So now, as you can see, here is our element of send your design. So I'm gonna click into my header. I'm gonna click into this page that we have just created. And what I want to do is to customize all my elements. So I, what I wanted to do is to delete all of these elements since I think this is actually not gonna be worthy. So I'm gonna go here where it says template, locate the add section. And here, look out for your keyword, which in our case is a form. So here choose contact form and here is appearing the contact form added. So I'm gonna click here into the contact form so I can see what I can do to add this uh, into a form. So I'm gonna click into custom CWS. So here as you can see, I can add custom styles of this section only. So where it says top padding, let's go for, for 64 and let's go for 80. And it's how it's going to be looking our actual contact information. And this is the part where it all comes a little bit tricky. So there's two ways that we can add in a specific contact or custom form since we only have one, two, three, four different sections to add here. If I go back into my section of my store, I'm going to hit into exit, locate your applications. And here into apps, you want to locate your application. Once again, look out for recommended apps just to open the Shopify app store. And here, what I wanted to do is to look out for an application that can be helping me to create some forms. So into search apps, go for forms, click here. 
and you can see there's a lot of applications that we can choose to have custom forms builder but as you can see there are the one that says seven day free trial we have free plan available but if you click into one of them we can see that all of these forms of course need to be paid so i'm going to hit into add application and here's the new form template that i can choose so let's say for example that i want to go for contact us application form in our case this is this one i'm going to hit into wholesale hit into go this side and as you can see i can start to decide my custom form as you can see here we have the first last name the email business training name website um, so I can choose, let's say, for example, this question and change that for a question like what is your main, what are your main goals? Leave it like that and the resale tax ID, social media stuff. And then after you have successfully done that, you want to hit into saved and we are now into a free plan. So as you can see, we have only eight fields limited since we have a free plan. If you don't want to be limited, there's another uh, stuff that we can do in order to um, get started with the custom forms, which is Google Forms. So what you want to do is to go into docs.google.com fast forward slash forms. And here you can customize and create your own uh, custom form. So once you have successfully created something like this, for example, I'm going to go into send. I'm going to go for send via and here we have an inbeamed html file so what i can do is to copy this link and add this into my actual store into the page where we are actually getting started so if you want to add your html file which is this one just go into copy i'm going to go into my online store look out for blog post or i'm going to look out for my page which is actually this one and here what i wanted to do is to look out for the send your design so here what i wanted to do is to paste my actual uh custom html file so i'm going to delete this element and here you can show the html file if you can't do this you don't have to worry about that what we can do is to create a blog post so i'm going to hit into blog post and here what i wanted to do is to create my blog post and here have the content i can show my html file and i can paste that in here so i can just hit into save and my elements should be added into my store and that's how we can add custom forms into our shopify without having to pay absolutely anything but that's totally up to you if you want to use google forms or you want to use the apps that shopify has to offer to us truly for free with that being said guys i reached into the very end of the video so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more amazing tools about the shopify hopefully this was very useful for you guys and well hopefully i'll see you in the next video